Well, it's the end of April now, and um, I did um, I did uh, brood out one small uh, batch of, of poults um, just to see what we would get. But uh, besides that, I've been collecting the eggs um, to eat, so I've got quite a few. Um, only about half of my hens are laying. I've got like a dozen or so hens, and only like six of them are laying. But still, I've got a lot of eggs, so decided to let the let the girls do their thing and um got four nests in the coop there um which are all occupied and uh, a few of the hens are randomly nesting in the field out there so uh, i wanted to do some selective breeding and so i took three of these red palm hens there's a light one there and i had two of the standard dark look um turned out one of them wasn't laying so i've still got two in here and i wanted to cross them back to my uh wanted to cross them back to my red palm jake over there to see if they breed true so Anyways, um, here's the enclosure. This is the turkey jail. We put whatever in here that we need to. So coming in here, got the food and the water, and they do have to have um, calcium. I use oyster shell. Even though you give them a lay pellet, they just need they need extra calcium. So um, anyway, you can you can feed them their egg shells back after you eat them, um, or you can give them egg uh, oyster shell or both. So anyway, I put a bunch of um, hay in here, a bunch of straw, and made three nests, even though there's only two hens. So this nest here is the one I just showed you. And then this beautiful, beautiful girl here, she has four or five eggs under her. And she likes to sit more than the other one. She's a good mommy. Um, she sits most of the day. The other one will just lay and get up. So um, the turkey hens, they will, uh, they will not sit full time until they have a full nest like 20 eggs or so other than that they'll just sit part of the day lay and get up um, so you kind of have to find the, the balance I can't let them just be in there because they can randomly mate um, and then you can't just lock them up all the time they need to eat grass so I do let them out um, for a while in the morning and then I let them roam with the flock and I do let them roost at night with the flock otherwise they're in here so that's how you have to do it um so anyway just wanted to show that and uh i guess pretty soon we'll find out if red palms breed true